Well, that was fun. Time to take this thing apart, lock it away. Oh! My What's going on, everyone? My name is the Bread, and this is my top 15 Nerf regulator combos. Over here, we got a ton of attachments, some Nerf blasters, mags, and drums, everything we need to try to pimp out the Nerf regulator. So let's see what kind of crazy, wacky, and practical combinations we can make. This one is for the movie makers out there, and that's what this combo is called, the movie maker. We have two key components, the tactical rail mount on the top, as well as a GoPro attached to a GoPro custom tactical rail mount. This GoPro is facing forward, so it has a little bit of the barrel in the shot. You'll get to see where the darts are firing. This tactical rail mount is facing towards the user, so you get a little bit of that face shot as well, so something different. But yeah, it's kind of cool. If you want to get some interesting shots, you can do this, or you can just wear a GoPro on your head, whatever you want. And talk about throwback Thursday this combo is called the Shrek because we got some mean green vortex machines that make up this combo up top right attached to the missile launcher stock is the Lumatron which was a very likable um, vortex blaster back then it was mag fed pretty cool and up front we have the proton which was one of the very first 2011 vortex blasters to come out and I really enjoyed this blaster I don't really see any practicality in this whatsoever <laughs> It's like twerking, man. Now I call this combo the Ghetto Blaster. This is a complete blast to the past with some really memorable or popular and strike accessories that predate 2011. So on the back, we got the old recon stock that holds one six dart mag and strike pinpoint sight. The recon barrel and attached, we got a stampede blast shield. And on this tactical rail, we got the stampede pop-up bipod. Also, it's super ghetto since I got this one from a garage sale and it says MK47. I don't think it gets more ghetto than that. Ghetto Blaster. Oh, we're not done with the Ghetto Blasters. Here we got the Ghetto Blaster version two. I call this one the Slim Jim because it's very sleek, it's minimalistic, and it'll get the job done for those sniper missions. And just like the original Ghetto Blaster combo, this one only comes with accessories that predate the End Strike Elite series. So up here we got a silencer from the Spectre, the six dart mag right here, Super Soaker Shot Blast scope. And lastly, the Spectre stock, which is super flimsy, but you know, it folds inward so you can maximize mobility ability on the run. Okay, here we go. I am sweating after making this combo. I like to call this the Ghetto Blaster final form and it just, uh, I don't know how to explain this. First of all, we got two 18 dart mags with a flip clip here connecting them. Up front, we have a Spectre with all its attachments. Recon barrel. This is a recon tactical light that I spray painted before. Up here, we got the Stampede Blast Shield. Recon stock, six dart mag. And up here, we got a Stampede with an Alpha Trooper 18 dart drum mag. So just like the flip clip, if I run out of ammo in the regulator, I can just flip it over easily and then just destroy my opponents with this stampede. And to impress your friends even more, just, just hold this thing with one hand and just mow down your enemies. Alright folks, this next combo is called the Rock and Load. If you need ammo, you got it. It's already all on your blaster. Up front, we're rocking an XD Retaliator barrel with two magazine holders. Up top, we got an 18 dart drum mag and an 18 dart mag. Two more 18 dart mags with the flip clip. At the back, we got the regulator storage stock holding a nice 25 dart drum mag. So. This is a lot of ammo. Practical? No. It, it just looks cool. A lot of orange. Now I like to call this one the snake. Right here we have a retaliator front grip, you know, to maximize, to maximize comfort and stability. To maximize, to maxim, to maxim com comfort and stability. This next combo is called the Hammerhead. Looks very similar to the Snake, but operates very differently. As you can see, it only has a six dart mag, so you'll just go through those darts in like a couple of seconds, but that's the beauty of it. Your opponent thinks you're defenseless. They'll rush you with their melee weapons, and no, 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 you stop them. You go like this, boom, tear them a new one. I was just joking about hitting someone over the head with this. I think that's just straight up assault. YouTube, please don't demonetize me. This next simple but effective combo, I like to call the Triforce. Up here, we just have a triad connected using the custom triad front grip. And if you want to see any of these custom attachments, you can check out that video right up here. So what's neat about this is you can use the triad as a front grip and whenever you just need to use it by itself, 
can easily pop it off. Right here we got an 18 dart mag, and at the back we have the very reliable and sturdy Raider stock slash Super Soaker Shot Blast stock. Shout out to these guys up on the screen. If you want a chance at your very own shout out, make sure you answer this week's question of the day. Okay, here we got the Tri-Strike 2.0, and this is just the regulator with all the stuff that came with the Tri-Strike, including the Mega Dart Barrel Extension, the Missile Launcher Stock, and the 10 Dart Magazine. And just like the Tri-Strike, this fires three types of ammunition. You got the Mega Missile here, the Mega Darts, and Elite Darts in here. And you also have three different ways of firing, since this is the regulator as well. This really is like an upgrade of the original Tri-Strike. One thing I don't like about this combo is the fact that there isn't much room for your hand in here. Just kind of gets all bunched up. But other than that, I think it looks cool and you got a lot of different options here. This next combo is geared towards those who like that run and gun technique, heavy hitting blaster combo, and this is the one for you. I like to call this one the striker. Up top, we got a missile launcher stock, which is kind of your last ditch Hail Mary attempt to try to hit someone if you're completely out of ammo. And we have the tactical light from the recon up here. It does provide that tactical rail where we can attach the stampede blast shield, and this will help deflect some shots off your body. We got a high capacity 25 dart drum mag, here. The long barrel scope right here just to make it look cool. And here's kind of interesting, we have the tactical rail mount, not to hold your phone, but as kind of like a hand guard. So when you put your hand right here, it might block some shots that are aimed towards your finger. I don't know, is that cheating to you guys? Yeah, overall this one's kind of cool. I I really don't know what I was thinking when I made this. <laughs> I call this one the bamboozler because there's so many scopes and barrels attached to this thing that your opponent won't even know where the dart's coming from. I even attach this custom tactical light here, just, just to screw with your opponent even more. This one's great. Next up, we got the run and gun. This is a very simple and lightweight combo for you guys. Up here, we have an XD retaliator front grip for that mobility and stability. And right here, we have a stampy blast shield to provide you a little bit more coverage to prevent you from getting hit. This combo is geared specifically for running around, weaving around those corners. Everything is very lightweight, no stock getting in the way. Overall, this will work in a variety of situations. Well, um, there's all sorts of wrong going on here. It's like a freaking balancing act. Oh my god, I hope I don't kill myself. There we go. I call this one the thing, because uh, there's, there's just... What, what is this? I don't even know when you would ever use this except for making a stupid YouTube video. There's just a bunch of guns on here. There's a stampede with no magazine in it. Oh my god. This scares me so much. Well, that was fun. Time to take this thing apart, lock it away. Oh my god. Oh my god. Never, never building this thing again. I, I can't even put it down. Frick. Ah, oh, guess I don't have to work out tonight. My god. Okay, I admit it, I probably screwed around way more than I should have in this video, but this is actually my number one favorite and probably the most practical combo in this video. This is the vanilla ice cream. I call it that because vanilla is simple, it's plain, and a majority of people like it, I, I think. I'm a simple guy, give me a nice foregrip, a nice stock, and I'm good to go in any nerf war. This is my favorite foregrip from the XD Retaliator, favorite stock, which comes with the regulator, and my favorite magazine type, which is the 18 dart mag. Right here, I have everything I need for comfort, versatility, mobility, and this 12 dart mag in the back of the stock is just an extra bonus for when I run out of ammo here. So that's your number one combo in this case I think simple is best. Thanks for watching this video everyone if you want to see any and all of my nerf videos they're all in this playlist right over here it's just a couple clicks away and if you want to help me out make sure you press that subscribe button I post a new nerf video every Saturday and if you want to buy your own nerf gear check out the description box down below and use my links and help out this channel at the same time. Once again thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.